Courtney does this thing when she wakes us up when it's like we're at like the venue. She'll like that. She'll be and she's like, "Morning, everyone!" And like starts like doing these rooster sounds, and I'm just like, "Kill it!" Every night they ask us what we want for dinner, and every night Sharon Needles just goes, "I just want broth. I just want broth." I don't want anything in it. I need that broth. I need to suck down that broth. <laughs> I will say probably the biggest surprise is that Courtney Act farts a lot. Well, I fart a lot, but they're like, they don't smell. They're like, they're like, they're environmentally friendly. They're not like methane. They're like, I don't know, just like something. Like they're not fragrant. With eight drag queens on a tour bus, we're not allowed to poop on the bus. So then what happens is we get to the venue and it's like a domino effect. It's a jungle inside the bus, you know, and it's just meat racks and it stinks and there's, um, you know, we're all just, it's a horror movie, you know, but in the end, we want to believe it's a romantic comedy, but it certainly isn't, um, at least not from my point of view. Do you remember that little boy on the nanny was like, oh, great skies are gonna clear up. Put on a happy face. That's Jinx. Well, Courtney wakes up happy. She goes to sleep happy. And in the middle of the day, she's happy. Katia is extremely intelligent and up on a lot of politics and like important things. Most likely Zane. I would have sex with Zane. I would Zane and